To create a sun study in ARCHICAD is really quite simple. First of all, make sure you have a floor or a site or a mesh, something you can cast shadows on. And then by going to the perspective settings window, choose the parallel settings. Make sure you look at the site from the top. Put the camera down to the bottom as opposed to wherever it was before. Click on presets if you already have a preset saved, but if you don't, click on more sun, choose the city that you're in, Melbourne, choose the date, September 21st, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then you can also set Project North here. I'm going to leave Project North up the page here, and push OK, and then push OK here as well. couple other things you need to worry about. In the 3D window settings, make sure you're on the internal engine because the OpenGL engine won't cast a shadow. And then make sure the shading is on. Make sure the vectorial hatching is on and contours off also works. Contours on means there will be a line around the polygons, that the shadow polygons, and that means there will be shadows. The shadows will be the shadow polygons won't have a line around the outside of them, which is what I prefer. And then push OK, and that's the result that we will have. And then once it's finished generating that, we go to the Marquee tool. Select the construction method, choose the last option there. Put a marquee around the shadows at least. Left mouse click, sorry, push Control or Apple C for copy. And then over here, we're going to save it as a scale drawing. Construction elements, we want no construction elements. Polygons, yes we do. 3D hatching lines, I don't want any hatching lines. And calculate split polygons and frameless. And I push OK. Then I go back to the floor plan. I need to go just say up to the roof plan and push control or apple v which is paste and there's my shadows for that time of the year at that particular time we can also save this into our view map and maybe i'd put this on its own layer a 10 at 10 a.m layer and then make a 12 then make a 12 p.m then make maybe a 3 p.m layer and do this copy the same do the same process and so and follow the same process and create some shadows for three o'clock in the afternoon as well and then they can be just saved and instantly recalled through our view map we also have the quick time sun study option so if we left mouse click on this button up here we can also create a sun study that is a short movie and this can be generated from the 3D window or the photo rendering window and we can also set the time from sunrise to sunset we can set the times in there and over here it will give us a snapshot of the model every 30 minutes and we want to render all frames over here we can choose the file format we're going to choose there's quite a few formats there and we can also choose the color depth so I'm going to leave everything as it is there and I'm just going to push save once again if you push show it just shows you the movie but doesn't save it and if you save it it will save it to somewhere save it to a designated spot and then it, off it creates the movie over here here's the shadows early in the morning going over to the other side of the block completed we can just click on the quick time movie and here it is here and we can push play another option that is fairly unique to ARCAD is that we can actually sit inside one of the rooms inside the building and do the same thing so to do that I would perhaps close this window here 
To set the camera up, I might just go back down to the ground floor and select my camera and left mouse click where I want the camera, where I want it pointing. So by opening up the floor plan, placing the camera where I want to set up my sun study from, inside the room at the right height. Now when I go to open 3D window, we can see the angle that we're looking at, see the windows. Now let's have a look at where the sun comes through. So I click on create sun study and once again I, I'm going to keep all the same settings and push save, call it inside. So now I'm just going to generate that. And that's rendered from the OpenGL window. And the effect is quite subdued. So what I might do is change to the internal rendering engine. And then do the same thing again. Click on create fly through. Save it. There. And once it's finished, we can have a look at the results. So first of all, here's the rendering from the OpenGL rendering engine. We can see the time date that it was created. We can see the time flashing through there. And that's the fairly subdued version. And here it is from the internal rendering engine, which is more vectorial based. Push OK. We can see the time once again traveling through there. And we can see our shadows moving through the building. This sort of feature is great for when you're designing. Perhaps you might be designing a house with a veranda that you want to keep all the sun out. It's a great way to make sure your designs very effective.